Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Ready with me, Louise. So, today is the final day of the Urban Decay Naked ones. Um, this one is called, what is this called? Half Baked. So, it looks like this. It's so cute. I will say this one is pretty basic. I mean, I'm sure you have these colors ten times over. But... For a beginner, it's something worth looking into. So let's go into the first shade, Buck Off. It's different. And we'll start with it. Like I said, I do believe that these are, these particular palettes are really, really good for beginners. If you're just getting into shadows and stuff, because they're just so easy to work with, truly. And then, of course, if you're traveling, like, the packaging of it is very secure and sturdy and all that good stuff. So, it's really, you know, worth it in the overall scheme of things, these palettes. And I think it was $29 for them. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So, you can see how well that just, like, blended out. Like, it's so pretty. And I really love this brush. This brush has become like my number one favorite brush. I don't know why. But for some reason, I just like this brush. And I've been going through my collection. Like I've been talking about. Like, it's trying out different brushes, different brands. Seeing what I like for, you know. my I have very hooded eyes. And one of them is definitely downturn more than the other and then I'm getting older you know so I'm getting those wrinkles and creases and stuff but this particular brush is so nice to go in with with my first shade for sure and I think I could even use it for my second shade to be honest I don't because I use different brushes so you can see you know I don't want the colors to mix, basically. I mean, I could clean it off, but that's kind of, you know, the lazy me saying, I don't want to, you know? But yeah, I've really been liking this Sephora brush for some reason. Okay, so you can see how well, like I said, this just blends and builds on top of each other. I mean, it's really nice. Like I said, this is the final eye look, but I'm just making sure that, again, both the same. All right, and then I went into Edible. And again, I really like these palettes as far as like depth wise. I really do feel like they give you your transition shade and your deeper shade and all that stuff, you know? Like, they give you everything that you're going to need in a palette. For the most part, I, I think there was one I, for the inner corner, I didn't have, really. But, I mean, how hard is it to use the highlighter that you used earlier, you know? And you can see how well these just blend out. I mean, it's effortless. And if you wanted to build the darkness, you could. I wasn't going too dark today, so I didn't want to. I'm hoping you, you can see. But yeah, they blend lovely. I really, really am enjoying it. Okay, going back into that first shade, the Buck Off, we're going to run it under the lower lash line. And I would say this is more of your bronzy looks, if that's the kind of look you're going to go for. This is the palette you want. And this, pen, and this particular brush here, I've really been enjoying it. For my lower lash line the way that it's it's the right 
width and stiffness, I feel. And I've not found another brush like it so far through my collection. And it's a, it, no, what is this one? Is it a, I think it's an It Cosmetic brush. It came in a set. It's Slay Girl. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it came in like a set a while back. And I just never used it or something. I don't know, but I just rediscovered it. I've been rediscovering a lot of things, and I've liked that so far. I've really been enjoying, you know, going through everything. Okay, the next shade I'm going to go into is Breadwinner, and we're going to put that all over the lid. And again... This is a very bronzy look. Copper, in a sense. Yes, bronze copper. But they would just be the same colors, maybe. <laughs> My colors are really good when I'm describing it, let me tell you. But we're just going to place it all over the lid. And again, it's nothing complicated, you know? These palettes are by no means complicated, hard to work with. Like, you're going to know exactly what you're doing as soon as you open it up, you know. It's going to give you what you want, for sure. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm going to take that shade uh, edible that I used in my, to darken up that outer corner. And I'm going to run it under the lower lash line too. But I'm going to put it right up against the lashes. Just like that. Okay. Inner corner, we're going to go with the shade Rocky. It's alright for my inner corner. I wouldn't really think, like... I, if I use this palette again, I most likely will just use the highlighter that I'm wearing, to be honest with you. And this would be a pretty lid shade, to be honest. To do a softer look, in a sense. Yeah. And then I poke myself in the eyeball. There we go. Oh, no. All right. For the inner uh, waterline, no. Inner waterline, what is that? The top and bottom waterline. I use my ColourPop in Get Paid, and I think this really goes really well with this particular palette. So, that's a suggestion also. Uh, oh, then all I done, like, it's such a simple look today. I used my Charlotte Tilbury Mascara for my top lashes. I will say, I think it's time that I get rid of this and buy a new one. Because I think it's dried out now. Or it is drying out, one of the two. Because it's not performing as good as it used to, you know? It is what it is, I know, it's that time. But I will say it did good while it did last. I didn't mind this one. She has another one. I don't think I care for that one that much, but this one I did enjoy. What was this one called? This one is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. So I did enjoy this one. And I do think that it does just what it, you know, says it's supposed to do. And that's all I can ask out of a mascara. Now most, I'm sure, are doing false lashes with it, so if that's the case, like mascaras really don't matter. But for me, it matters because I don't know how to do false lashes. So I need all the help I can get out of my mascaras. And I do feel that this one does a good job when it's at its peak. 
not right now. Right now, it's on me. And I know that. So, don't judge it by the performance it's doing right now. <laughs> I didn't realize it was this bad, though. Or I wouldn't have used it to begin with. But regardless, it still works. It just will be the last time I use it. <laughs> uh oh, I made a mess. Lovely. Of course. Uh, for bottom lashes, my Mac Extended Play. I'll get. I'll clean that up in a minute. And I love this mascara for my bottom lashes. We're going to ignore the hair for today also. So we're not going to worry about the hair because it's not working for me either. There's just, it's not been the best, you know. Get that mascara off there where I hit. All right. Okay. All right, and that is the final look. So all in all, like these palettes are so quick and easy to use. I, you're not gonna have any issues out of them if you're beginners. I highly suggest them if you're beginners. Um, price point is pretty good, $29 for them. No, there's not much product, but you're not gonna use that much of the product to begin with, so it's gonna last you a little bit, and it's just so easy to use. So again, this one here is the Half Baked, and this is the final look that I created using the palette. And of course, as far as mattes go, you're not, it's not, you know, it's basically going to be this. It's your lid shade that's going to change depending on what shimmer you use. So, and again, you could wet it and maybe get it more metallic. I did not wet these, so I just wanted a quick, easy, simple look. But that is all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload. I have... There's no fancy light in here, no fancy camera, nothing like that. It's just me showing you how the products worked based on a beginner's point of view. So that's all I got for you today. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.